This is Twit. Uh, every anybody ever use blue jeans? <laughs> Once uh, I got a, it was a. I, once with Verizon. <laughs> Once with Verizon. Yeah. Verizon. Uh, yeah. So Blue Jeans uh, was a video conferencing act app uh, available uh, at the turn of the last decade. And remember, there was this thing called COVID. I think people have forgotten, but we had this yeah. quarantine. No. Yeah. Oh, what, was was that the thing that destroyed our lives and 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 made like up and did everything yeah, right, right, that one. right. Now it's yeah. coming back to me now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got it. That's Got why it. Oppenheimer is the first theater I've been in years. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, uh, so back in 2020, Verizon said, look, uh, this Zoom thing has taken off. We really mm -hmm. need a conferencing solution. So they bought Blue Jeans for more than $400 million. And, and I used it both before and after, and it was never good. I'm going to tell you this yeah. right now. I used it in 20, like 13, 2014, because Mashable, like somebody scammed somebody on the sales team and it being like, this should be your your conferencing thing. When I say WebEx was better, that should tell you everything. Sorry, go on. <laughs> well, also the fact that this did not outlive Google's current messaging uh, platform. I know. I mean, that's <laughs> amazing. Sad. But four hundred million dollars. I mean, because it's not a bad idea in theory. You're like, cool, yeah, we we can have this thing. We could sell some servicing stuff around it. But blue jeans, really? Yeah, it was a did anyone, It's not as dumb did, as did going ninety. Ever, no, no. Uh, but but I mean, it it was to video conferencing what Google Plus was to social media. You know, it was a desperate attempt to get in on the game, way too late and way too badly. So instead of selling it on to some other sucker, uh, they're just going to shut it down and write off the four hundred million. Yeah, I was gonna say the tax benefits are better for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sad, isn't it? They actually, they probably do pretty well. Just oh, the one that infuriates me about is Nokia. Microsoft mm. bought Nokia, mm -hmm. ran it into the ground, shut it down, and then yep. got to write that off against taxes. I'm still bitter about that one. You know, the people, the people, the people that Steven worked Eli. on that are still, you know, I, I know some of those people are still. Some of them are even still at Microsoft, and they're still, you know, have the yeah. war scars from all of that. Well, I think Elop. I think there's a permanent uh, ban on Elop ever entering Finland, or if there isn't, there really should be. <laughs> oh, there should be. There should be. But well, wasn't he the CEO of of, of Nokia bef before the acquisition? No, no, he came yes. over from Microsoft after the acquisition. Oh. No, no, it was before. No, it was before. Oh, it was before. right. And then he wrote the Brain oh, Platform memo. Oh, that's right. He was ex Microsoft. Oh, yeah. He, came over. Yeah. he then, convinced he Microsoft to memo. buy it. Oh. He, yeah. wrote, he, wrote, he wrote the burning platform memo that basically said um, our own yes. Symbian thing isn't working. We have to partner with someone else. And which honestly was correct. He was completely correct in that. But the the solution was was not um, a Windows phone, um, much as I know many, many people loved it. It, it, it was had Android. good like, interface ideas there. It did. It yeah. had really good ideas. And um, but it was late. Uh, I think that. Like the first, actually, it's funny that you say this, that you're talking about Nokia, because I'm not joking. I actually have this at my desk right now. Oh, wow. This is a Lumia 800. Oh, they made oh, great yeah. hardware. This was- Was that the 41 me, megapixel one or was that later? No, that no, later. no, 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 no. This was even earlier. This was something. early. So this was, yeah, that was the 1530 or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. was, this did not work in the United States. This mm. was given to me, this only worked on the, the European bands. And, um, but it ran like Windows Phone like 7.5. So it didn't even run the Windows Phone 8, which actually had the good app support, but it started to show the ideas. But the hardware was amazing. And I don't know why I still had this, but I do. <laughs> and I remember just like, the, I remember the briefing and like the, 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 the Nokia people being like so excited about how well it had been crafted. And, I thought that was yeah. a, those are great phones. I had a number of the Nokia uh, Windows phone phones. Yeah, the Lumias were great. Yeah, this, this, this was actually yeah they were they were tanks. They were good phones. I um I they were uh, elegant. They were beautiful. I have a yellow one. No, they were it was soft and yeah. Yeah, beautiful that, edges. Yeah, that, that was that was the one with the big camera. Yeah, yeah, I um I tweeted like when they were doing their announcement. I was like, should I just give up my iPhone and use a Windows phone for you know um you know ten days or something? Mm -hmm. And then my and my editors were like, that's a good idea. And both uh, Nokia and Microsoft were like, will you do that? And so I did. And then a million people copied me, but I actually did like lock my phone in a drawer, forwarded mm -hmm. my number because I was on a different carrier and used a Windows phone for a week and, and nothing else. And that was, those were dark days, but <laughs> I liked a lot of the, but I loved a lot of the ideas. But from a you know? software perspective though, right? From, not from a hardware perspective. No, no, no. And the thing is, is even the apps that people were building were good. They just, there weren't enough of them, you know, it was yeah. just, and, and by that time of BlackBerry 10 was the same thing, right? Like they had some mm. really good ideas. 
Um, even going further back, like WebOS, really ahead of its time. But, yeah. you know, just you had these two dominant players almost instantly, and those were going to be the two. I used to go over and uh, Nokia used to do like sort of three or four day press events in the uh, back in the late 90s when press deadlines were done in paper rather than online. Right. And you could How afford nice. to spend so three days. How nice for you. How nice for you. I, <laughs> I, 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 I do. I, I'm no genuinely like I have no idea what that was like and I I'm oh, jealous God. well I mean we had like a one this particular trip was a Nokia maintained a compound just inside the Arctic Circle like a sort of corporate town um, which had like a, a 50 person sauna uh, which you know you went into and basically they'd stick beers outside the sauna in snow drifts you go in, you'd heat up for an hour, then they would chainsaw a hole in the ice uh, and the lake right next door to it. Everyone runs down, jumps in, rinse and repeat. But we spent a lot of time with the Nokia engineers, and I'll never forget, I think it was the Nokia 1110, the really tiny chocolate bar yes, phone. Yes, I love that one so much. Now, when they were, they were about to launch that, the engineer, we were sitting down with the engineers, he goes, I have to show you this. And he sort of put it in there and he called them up. And when you rang it on vibrate, the phone would walk across the table. <laughs> and he, he looked at us, he goes, you see that? That took us eight days to actually perfect that. So they did it. And no one's going to use it, but that's the kind of level of detail we want in there. I love that so um, much. But yeah, if Elop ever goes into, into Finland, he's going to learn what Sisu means and learn it the hard way, I suspect. Someone's going to punch him in the face. <laughs> it's midweek, and you really want to know even more about the world of technology. So you should check out Tech News Weekly, the show where we talk to and about the people making and breaking the tech news. It's the biggest news. We talk with the uh, people writing the stories that you're probably reading. We also talk between ourselves about the stories that are getting us even more excited about tech news this week. So if you're excited, well, then join us. Head to twit.tv slash TNW to subscribe.